hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have here my what month is this february february boxy charm um we're just gonna get right on into this it is we're going into the base box first i had already taken a sneak peek in these boxes because the card looks funny it does it just says treat treat your heart out is all that says but in the back it has no details of anything for what's in the box so i don't know the prices i'm probably going to butcher what anything is so oh, so hot <laughs> what else is there? um so i'm just going to wing it this time around but i'm going to read what the back of the card says it says epic news is coming we've got something epic in the works and can't wait to tell you all about it and it says basically to follow them on instagram you know and get excited for the biggest beauty news of the year it is not a spoiler now. I do know what the big news is, and it is that they are joining with Ipsy. So the boxes are going to be slightly different in the names. So if you want to research that, you know, basically go BoxyCharm and Ipsy joining, you know, and Google it somewhere and see what it's all about. It's, I don't feel like getting into it. But I'm just going to get into what is in the box. So the first thing I have here is this set of sponges and like this little sagey green and white marble. And it looks like it's YC Collection. And it just says Marble Sponge Duo. They seem a little, seem a little. They seem nice and squishy and soft. Don't want to open them up. Next we have Rare Beauty. It's their foundation and it is in the shade what is it is it 210 n i believe this was a slightly darker shade the packaging is just basic simple cardboard packaging nothing fancy about it and you have the bottle here i got a darker shade because they really didn't have a light shade and i was like you know what i can use this for when spring summer comes around so not a big deal here i've never had anything from rare beauty as far as complexion products i believe I don't know if I got a lipstick or not from there, but this is my first face makeup. Next, we have a Huda Beauty. Uh, looks like it is a Demi Matte Lipstick. This is the packaging with these little lips on here, and I'm already feeling a sneeze coming on. So, ugh, where did my tissues go? Go? I don't know. I know I have them somewhere. I found them! <laughs> Just in case I start sneezing. Uh, it's in the shade Boy Collector. It's like, looks like this berry red. How the hell you get in here? Hello? 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 Anyway, that's what it looks like right there. I'm not going to try to get into that pain in the butt. Next, what I thought was weird is it is an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow. Uh, what do you call this? brush with the spoolie on the end um i'm kind of confused as to why we have i mean it just says a dual ended angle brush i mean i guess you can use it for eyeliner if you want to put eyeliner and stuff so i guess maybe that's why they put it in here but i do believe i received something like we already received something like this and it came with the dip brow stuff all right and the final thing that is in this box and it is by beauty bakery it says proof is in the pudding and it is an eyeshadow palette that's so cute open it up i already looked into this i already know that the colors are actually really nice it's a nice neutral palette i'm gonna stay back here because this is like i said this is more on point on what the color is in the palette and if i go up here the ring light likes to wash it out so i'll stay back here and they're pretty nice neutral browns so they're lovely right up my alley don't smell like pudding i would think it would smell like banana pudding but it doesn't smell like anything it smells like just plain old eyeshadows but that is stinking adorable next we're going to move on to the premium box same thing treat your heart out and same thing the announcement that's on the back it just doesn't tell you what the announcement is but we're going to here velvety body cream 
it's unscented it's by refreshments and that's a pretty big tube i don't know if i opened this or not is it sealed yeah it's sealed so it says it's unscented but you take that with a grain of salt because sometimes things like that still have a scent it says dive into rich velvety moisture for a royal glow so it says nourishes and restores quick absorbing non-greasy 24 hour hydration kind to skin so i don't mind having that i like to travel with things like this then like big big jars next we have herbivore and it is cloud jelly it is a vegan collagen something what the hell is it it's a cloud jelly so what are you really for collagen do 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 it is a hydration serum and this is the packaging on that side on this side it has little strawberries and and mushrooms Ooh, little mushrooms see a piece of hair flying around from my head on my shirt i'm like now looking for it let me open this up ow oh that's pretty it's a, like a pretty pink straw like matches my shirt nice and cute i hear really good things about herbivore so i have yet to try any of the stuff that i got from them i get so many face stuff from the um from boxy that i only have one face to put it all on and i'm not going to have multiple things open i like to use things up so once my regular things are used up i will then be going into my collection before i buy any of my regular stuff unless the stuff that's in my collection breaks me out which i don't normally get breaks out breakouts unless like maybe one during that time of month but other than that, I don't want my skin to go crazy because I'm like putting weird stuff on it. Next we have here, it is be another beauty bakery. It's called The Butter. It's Hydro... What? It's a primer. So it's a Hydra Silk Primer is what it says. And it looks like an old-fashioned stick of butter. That is cute. It actually looks like it's all oily looking. Uh, you want to open for me? anybody open for me really seriously no did i even get it you know what i should always know to bring my scissors to the video also so i can get in here oh my gosh can't even get in Oh my god and it still looks like a stick of butter even on the inside of the packaging um how do you open you oh 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 okay it's a stick i i did i thought it was going to be like a little pump but it's actually a stick of oh okay where i can get it on my nose doesn't have a smell so that's good so Give it a try. I'll look into that because I've never even heard of a serum from them. Now I've got to find the cover to this thing so I don't stab myself. I don't know why I was doing it. Okay. And then we have it here. Oh my god. See, I didn't open open everything. I just wanted to see what things were going on. This is Dose of Colors. And it is Lock and Key. What the hell are you? Is it an eyeshadow? We'll find out. Opening it up, it's just a paint, plain basic. It's like that matte feeling from like NARS. And it's another black. I'm trying to open it the wrong way. Oh, and it's a little glitter. So let's see. It's actually a nice color. Let's see. Oh, that's the color. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's like a bronzy olive color. That's where I'm getting at with that. It's nice. I like it. I will use that. 
that's like a nice one and done maybe throw a little bit of a darker color on the outside and just a nice smoky look to go out with i'm gonna go stick it back in this little box i like putting things back in their boxes even though i want to open them up again and put them in the my drawers all right next we have here and it is the pout perfect liquid lipstick by ace butte butte Be Be ace beauty is that how they want to be pronounced and it is called manifest Did you guys ever watch that tv series manifest if you haven't you should it was really good oh my god look at that packaging look at that that is so like i don't know what bougie oh can't even get it out that is actually just a little extra i don't know about the color though the color looks like a poop color exactly like could it have been like a berry color that is so not my color like it is seriously definitely not a color i normally wear so i don't know i'll have to try it but it is it's like a poopy color <laughs> i don't wear colors like this so why i would have liked that if it was like in a berry color like for real like i swear can you see my hangers back there yep <laughs> i'm trying to like keep my body in the position where you can't see nothing uh so uh yeah i don't know about that color we'll find out i do like the packaging though i have to give it like a plus 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 for the packaging it almost looks like a coffin a little bit kind of a thing going on in here and the last thing we have is by siate london let me just tell you i have been on a kick with siate london i don't know why but i've been getting like their face primers their moisturizers I mean, and they're a little pricey, but I've actually been happy with them. Do we tell you what colors? No, 24 piece eyeshadow palette. That's all it says. Oh, <laughs> Royal Edition. Yep. Because I'm blind. It's in big letters. I can't even freaking see that. And it's just pretty, like, it's like a navy royal. So back here is more of the color. I have yet to see what this looks like inside. And eh, it's okay. I mean, it's not that great. It's all right, though. I don't know how much use I would get out of this palette. It's not really my cup of tea. And I still keep on looking over at the viewfinder instead of right here where you guys are. I keep looking over here. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm just making sure I'm also in focus and that the colors are coming off the correct way when I'm holding things up. So yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's not the greatest. I mean, I don't know why even like the shimmers look like they're friggin' dry as anything. Yes, yeah, they're like chalky, very chalky, but that was one color. I don't know, but it was like crumbly. I don't know. I'll hold on to it for a little bit. And if I don't like it anymore, I'll give it away. But I just watched it. I would give it to somebody who didn't mind my clean finger in it. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I probably would keep it because it has some nice reds in there. So, if I ever wanted to do like a Valentine look or anything like that, then I could. But I do like some of the browns that are in here. And I don't really own anything that has like royal blue and stuff in there. But, whatever. Whatever, whatever. So that is all I have for February's boxy charm. So apparently the new um, the new news is supposed to be happening. I think with the March boxes. I think so. I'm not gonna know until I open up those when they finally come in. Since we're still in February right now while I'm filming this, and you know, obviously, and I'm gonna be putting this up for february but yeah so we'll all see whoever like you know all my peeps out there who get boxycharm i guess we'll be seeing what march has to hold for us and see how this is boxycharm and ipsy joining together i think it's going to it's a permanent thing that's happening so like i said you guys google boxycharm and ipsy joining and you guys can see what i was talking about uh i think it's also i think on the boxycharm website too now the news so you can also look there but like i said this is all i have for you is like this video comment down below if you're new here don't forget to subscribe before you leave and until i see you all again have a great day thanks
Bye.